Hi friends, this is Naresh. Welcome back to my channel Technical Talks with Naresh. Today I am going to tell you how to use the aggregation function in Oracle Fusion. So in Oracle Fusion, we are having this much of the aggregation function count, mean, max, average, sum, first and the last. So first of all, we will go to the, our Oracle Fusion instance to see this concept practically. So this is my Oracle Fusion instance. Before starting, I just want to tell you, please like, share, subscribe my channel share with your friend and press the subscribe button which is at the right corner on your screen so for creating the report we have to go to the catalog first for going to the catalog you know the navigation as per the previous video go to navigator go to tools click on report and analytics click on browse catalog and we are on the catalog window for creating the data model we have to go to new then after data model so this is my data model window i want to create the aggregation function for that i need one query so i need to create one data set first so click on the plus icon and here is the sql query and give the name i am giving the name aggregation function in fusion bi then after i have to select the data source so my data source is fusion db then i have to give the query so i am going to write the steps over here what i have to do i have to do first step is create the data model so we are creating the data model for that we require the query so i am having one query with me this same query we already used in our last video also so what we are doing over here we are fetching the data from few headers and few lines table so from few header we are taking just one column that is few header id and from line table we are getting this much of the table okay and we are getting the data of only one po because segment one is having the po number so this is my po number okay so this same query i am copying into this data model i just click on ok so my data model is generated now i am saving this data model you can save anywhere i am saving a shared folder customs and then my custom folder it is test i am giving the name aggregation function in fusion vi i am copying the same name into the description section also i just clicked on ok and you can see over here the the data model is saved okay so now we have to use the aggregation function so for using this aggregation function we have to use this global level functions so in this we have to create all these aggregation functions suppose what type of an aggregation functions are available over there we don't know in start and we have to see so what i have to do i just have to click on any of this column and i have to drag over here when i dragged it is come like this okay here is the space drop here to aggregate function here we have to drag so i have to set the properties for this column so first click on the setting icon and then go to properties and here how many types of an aggregation functions are available which are shown over here i am clicking on sum i want to make the sum of that value okay and i have to give the name so these alias name always should be in capital if you give here small letter it won't work okay if you want to test that you can test that also okay i am just copying the same name over here and i just click on okay so you can see over here the summation icon came here and then second function and again i am dropping over here then second go to settings go to properties here is the option another one is an maximum so for this column what is the maximum value it will show me i'm just changing the label cs underscore max so this is the same as the summary column in the rdf okay so in rdf also we will use the summary column this is same as that concept then again i am dropping it then go to settings then properties then here is the option i'm changing the label to minimum and i have to select over here main then click on ok and here you can see here it came maximum it came minimum then again i am dropping line id so it will show how many lines are there so we can implement the count function over here so i am writing count i am copying that and clicking on ok so four are done and then again i am taking unit price click on setting click on properties what remains first so we can click on first change the level change the display name click on ok then again i am taking unit price you can take different columns for different operation but i am taking only that one so i am again clicking on setting properties then what i have to give i have give last then i am also changing the label and the display name click on ok and then last i am taking 
unit price again and clicking on setting then properties then last one is and remain average so i am changing the label average and i am changing the display name to clicked on ok so it is changed so i am just writing this sequence in what sequence we had taken that value okay i just write on the notepad so in second sequence what we had done drag the element from group to group level function so what we are doing we are dragging this element from group to group level functions okay so i'm just noting this sequence so this is my sequence over here same sequence i had noted over here and the third step is create layout and template and the last step is run the report so we had done second step so we have to create the layout for creating the layout first we have to save this so we can see that it is saved and we have to go to data then we want to click on view and then we can click on table view suppose if you want to see so you can see over here the output is coming okay so we will check this in the final output just click on save as a sample data click on ok then here you are having create report click on create report then we are in the layout section just click on cancel and upload your data model so you, our data model name is aggregation function inclusion bi so our data model is uploaded you can see over here i am clicking on generate for generating we have to give the name i had given the name aggregation function template now click on generate so you can see over here the template is generated you can click on save now now you have to save this i am saving at the same location with the name aggregation function layout i'm copying the same into the description section also and click on ok so you can see where it is saved now i have to see the output so click on view report and you can check over here this is my report so this is my line section so these are the column which i had used in the group and these are all the aggregation function so here in template we had not given any type of a header to that so header is not coming so i'm going to edit that template so just click on setting icon and click on edit layout and you click on edit layout it will download the template so this is my template i had just open i am not doing other changes i am just writing here some colon then after here is the max so i am writing max then mean the next is count then first then last then average so we are done with this i am just saving this template and i will upload into my vision instance so for uploading this i have to go to again setting then edit report then here is my previous template you can delete this template so i had deleted this template now i have to upload another template so i have to click here add new layout and here is the option to upload so i clicked on upload and give the layout name so here i am giving the name aggregation function layout underscore one okay now i have to choose the template file so i had chosen the template file then i have to give the type what is my type that is rtf template so rtf then locale locale is what is our locale our locale is english so i am choosing english or english india then click on upload so you can see over here my template is uploaded now again you have to save this so you can see over here it is saved and click on view report to see the output so you can see the output over here here is the sum so we had performed all the operations on unit price only we had performed the count on po line id so for sum you can tally that that sum is also correct you can see the maximum maximum value is also correct minimum value is also correct count is two here are only two so count is two first so first number is that is this one so first is this last is this and you can also verify that average that is also correct so by this way you can use the aggregation function in oracle bi reports in oracle fusion you can schedule the same report by using the scheduler also how to schedule this report using the scheduler i already specified in my last video you can check that in next video we are going to see the arithmetic operations in oracle fusion bi reports if you like this video don't forget to like share subscribe my channel technical talks with naresh to get more videos on oracle sql plsql oracle application oaf and other technologies thank you